Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial by No Code Africa. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to build the chatting aspect of our messenger application all without writing codes using Flutterflow as a main instrument. Let's get right into it. Okay, so uh, for us to you know implement the uh, part of our application that has to do with the chatting side, all right, so we had already created the other aspect of our application, which is the splash screen, the, uh, the screen for the user to either create an account or login. And we had also created a couple of other screens, um, particularly this side that shows the active screen, and then some part of this side for the story. And then uh, we didn't create the chat list. Okay, so I did skip that part. So, but now I'm just gonna show you uh, how to get it done, right? So I will I won't be starting from scratch to actually uh, Implement this right. I'm going to just show you I'm gonna just walk you through how it was implemented and then I'll try to explain some things to you Okay, but if at all you need a way more detailed explanation, all right, and then you want to uh, pre-order the course that has to do with you know building this uh, messenger application then you can just check the link on the, the description of this video or the link in the description of this video to uh, pre-order the course, all right? And then in the course, you'll be able to get to see the full uh, explanation of the different aspect of the Messenger application, okay? All right, so um, let's go ahead and then just jump right into explaining how all of these happened. Okay, so right now, uh, let's just go ahead and then just check out our application, how it looks like. So I'm going to just go ahead and run a new session and then start uh, explaining how it works so that as at the time that I get to some point, we should have been done uh, running our debug session. Okay, so let's just, uh, let me close this and then we can go straight into, you know, you know, walking through how the application actually works. Okay, so here, before you even start creating the, the chatting side of the messenger application, right? You need to set up your, uh, your database, right? So you need to set up your collections. Okay, so we basically need two collections. Let me delete this. We didn't, we don't need this at all, okay? So I will just take this off. Okay, so we just actually need just two collections, the chats and the chat messages. So what is the chat? Okay, so if you come here to the messenger side, right? So you see here, this shows a chat list. So this is a list of people that you've chatted with, all right? And then this is the part where you get to like chat with somebody, all right? This is the chatting side, while this is the chat list. So now that simply means that we, we need to have two collections, right? One collection for chats and one another collection for chat messages, all right? So in your chats, you have the the following schema okay so we have the user a uh, which is a document reference we have user b document reference last message string last message time date time image image path user doc reference okay referencing users and then for the chat messages side we have user which is a doc reference for users and then chat user is a doc reference again for chat and then we have the timestamp which is daytime, image, image path, text, stream. Okay, so how do we use this? Now, the very first thing that you need to, you know, pay attention to or even know uh, when it comes to building a chatting application, all right, is that there is going to be a part where you're going to be creating a document for chats. And so where does that happen? That happens here, all right? So this is a list view, and then I queried this list view to show the list of uh, documents from the users. So every single person here is just gonna be the, the, the users that have signed up uh, in our application, all right? And then after that, I have a column here. I have a column here that shows the, it's more like uh, the place where I use in you know providing an action such that when this action is being executed, a document to be created in the chat aspect of our collection, all right? So here you can see here I have that uh, when the user taps on these anywhere around here, right? So he's going to end up creating a document uh, in the chat collection 
and then the fields that I am setting here is a user A, and the user A is a authenticated user, the person that just clicked on the button, and then the user B is the uh, the person whose detail is found in this particular uh, queried reference. Okay, so then we also have. Uh, the last message as well this one is just going to be a specific value and a and then we also have uh what else do we have we have the last message time which is just going to be current time we have the image which is going to be the image from these from this particular user and then we also have the uh you know the user the user which is all the authenticated user and then after that, I went ahead to do some querying here, like some querying here. I generated the, uh, I, I did a backend query, querying the, uh, the chats collection, showing list of documents, no filters. And then I did some conditional visibility and some manipulation here just to ensure that the application works. All right, so I won't get into like super, super detail. I just needed to show you like the structure. And then if at all you need the course itself, you can just check the description under this video to get the course, okay? So, uh, and then after that, what I did next was uh, make it such that when the user clicks on this particular row, okay, the user will be redirected to the, the screen called chatting, all right? In the screen called chatting, lots of things happen. Now let's go to that screen and then just take a look at it. Then from there, we demo the application and that will be it. All right, so if you go ahead and then check this out, when we go to the screen that says chatting, all right, you will get to see this is the part that has to do with the chatting. So we have the part here for the user to type in a message, and then when they go ahead and click on this particular uh, you know, image or icon, all right, they will be able to uh, send a message all right, to the person that they want to chat with. And then here you get to see some things that have been, you know, properly done here, right? There's a there's a backend call here to create document uh, in the chat message collection, all right? And lots of other things have been done here as well. And then there is a backend call here to update the document so that uh, the last messages will be shown in the chats page, all right? So all of that has been implemented here. And then what else? This particular list view is for us to, uh, you know, query the collection showing the chat message collection, which is list of documents. And then we did some uh, filtering here, making the chat user to be equal to the chat user. All right, so I wasn't going to like make these like super, super detailed like that, right? Because if I make it detailed, you wouldn't buy the course. Okay, so, um, if you want the entirety of the application, you want to see how to, you know, build the messenger application and implement your chat functionalities, all right? Then I would recommend that you just click the link on the description of this video and then get the 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 pre-order of the messenger application. And in the video, you'll get to see me explain these things in detail, like I've always explained in every other free video that you, you see on my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's just go ahead and demo our application and see how it works. First of all, before I demo it, I will have to go ahead and come here to settings. And then I need to just copy this link. All right, so I'm just gonna copy this link, uh, close it and leave this one here. Okay, and so I will just go to another browser and this is another browser. I will just paste uh, this here, okay? And then I will try to, uh, you know, have like a better view. Yeah, so I think this is about it. So I'm, I'm basically viewing my application using the web, okay? So this is it. I will use one part for, uh, one part to check out, like to send a message between two users. So right now we have two users in the application. So I can do like this, and there I can also do this. Oh, Flutterflow is not gonna allow me to run like that. Uh -ha. Okay, so what I'm just going to do right now is I'm going to, uh, okay, so this is it. All right, so I have two users now. So what I'm gonna do is uh, F12, 
okay and I'm gonna push this a little bit like this uh, okay so that's a bit faulty let me do it like this okay so let's see uh, this is where is our application uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just paste this here right so yeah I'm pasting this here and I will go ahead and then split it like this and now we have the application right so I think I can also uh, just maybe do something like this yeah just to make it a little bit smaller smaller okay and then uh, I have this okay so I think what I'll just do basically now is I will go ahead and I'm not having these working properly for me okay, let me go back and see okay this this is this is fine okay so I have these now uh, I can just uh, maybe close this okay so with this I have uh, I have uh, the two sides of the application now so this particular one shows one user and so this is this user chatting with David and uh, I will just go ahead and then make it such that another user signs in here so here I will say David okay I have an account here so it will just show here um, alright so now I have this here I will just try to log in and now I have two different applications so this one is David's account my account and then this is another person's account and the YouTube app, okay so uh, the way it works okay let me just go ahead and make you see how it works from the beginning so I'll come here to the chats uh, I will go ahead and just uh, maximize this and delete these document uh, this is our firebase for the application so I'm deleting the documents for the chats then I'll go ahead and come over here and delete the document for the chat messages as well so that I can just show you how this works completely okay so let's see now over here I will go ahead and delete this as well and and that's it so now if we go back I'm gonna just divide it back again and then come over here so great we have this so we don't have any message right so uh, I want to chat with Andy all right so this is David David wants to chat with Andy so he's just gonna click on this and when he clicks on this this particular document has been created for both parties it's created for these and created for this person okay and then what happens I'm just going to go ahead and click on this to enter into the application itself and so here I will just say um, okay so I think I have to spread this a little bit so I can see the send button yeah so Otherwise, the built-in flutter flow icon will be obstructing it. So I will just go ahead and click here and say, hello, hello, uh, Andy, okay? And then I can send, all right? So that appears here. And David also receives a message saying, wow, Andy, uh, okay, uh-oh. This is David sending a message, sorry. Yeah, so this shows the last message here that David sent. So David can go ahead and come over here and say oh sorry not this this is Andy I'm, I'm mixing it up so this is Andy and so hi David uh, okay did I just mix this up so yeah I think I just mixed it up so um, this particular user is David all right and David just clicked in this and is sending a message okay so hello Andy hello David and we can just uh, click in this uh, all right hello David and there you go so I'll just push this up a bit so you see uh, here I can just say how are you how are you how are you okay just to test how the application works now in almost all your application you would need to uh, build a chatting feature into your app and so that's why this is very critical so um, I'm fine in you okay so our uh, that's like the entirety of the the floor of our application okay so uh, with these you can actually build something like that is way more sophisticated for your business or for your clients application all right so if I told you're interested in getting like a full detailed uh, explanation of how to build the messenger application so just please go ahead and then check the description under this video 
and click to pre-order the messenger application okay see you in the next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and like the video as well and let me hear your comments thank you very much